Okay. We are live on the interwebs. <laughs> yep, sounds good. <laughs> let's just, let's just make sure everything's good. Hey, hey, everyone on Twitch. It's me, Perry Pennington. Oh, my tw <laughs> Oh, God, my, my chat logs is visible. Oh, God. Oh, ah, mistakes oh no. have been made. Oh, no. Switch it to battle. Switch it to battle. There we go. There we go. <laughs> We're good. We covered it. We covered it. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, so, first of all, uh, hi everyone, uh, I'm Perry Pennington, I am covering for Saturn today, uh, because, uh, Texas is having the first snowstorm in, like, a decade, <laughs> and her internet's out. Oh, no. <laughs> and no, no one knows, no yeah, one... we had a bunch of snow. Yeah. Is, is this a good time to mention that at, in Canada it's, like, one degree right now, so all the snow is melting? Yeah. So uh, so yeah. But anyway, they they don't they don't really have the infrastructure to know how to deal with snow, and everyone's freaking out down there. So so it's me. You get me. You get me today uh, to uh, talk to you about the FC, some of our exciting events uh, with the help of these lovely officers here. And uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So uh, welcome, Immortal Sword, uh, to the FC meeting. We have these meetings on the first Sunday, the first full week, uh, weekend Sunday of every month. Um, and so if you've been in the FC for a while, you may have noticed or may not have noticed, depending on how new you are, that we are actually comprised of a sisterhood of five separate FCs. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's, we got all kinds of FCs everywhere. And, um, we have uh, the Mortal Sword, which we refer to colloquially as 1.0, the Immortal Sword, which is us, you guys, uh, 2.0, the Eternal Sword, which is uh, 3.0, the Temporal Sword, which is 4.0, and finally the Baby, the Fallen Sword, 5.0. And so why do we have all these FCs? Well, a long, long time ago, the data center was cleaved asunder. And uh, it was known as the Crystal Apocalypse, and many people thought that the Crystal Data Center would become a RP hellscape with no <laughs> rating at all. And so Saturn got worried uh, for the future of rating in the FC and uh, decided that uh, she needed to recruit heavily and sort of create our own internal party finder so that we could uh, rate amongst ourselves uh, and sort of be shielded against that. However, there's other another reason um, and other benefits for splitting into so many FCs. Number one is it allows us to uh, not have one large FC that feels so claustrophobic. For example, if you max out an FC, uh, chat can be really claustrophobic. Uh, people kind of talk. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to get noticed within the crowd. Uh, whereas if you're in smaller, more medium-sized FCs, it allows for uh, more individuality. It allows for more... Uh, leadership positions, so we, we can we can actually promote more officers and royal guards, and things like that. Uh, whereas having like a bunch in one FC uh, seems kind of weird; it doesn't really work well. And so and it kind of creates. Asked, <laughs> yes, she has capped out an FC before. <laughs> yes, we've tried it. Mm -hmm. It uh, it was uh, it was not great. Anyway, so yeah, so that's why we have so many FCs. And uh, another like cool like side benefit is each FC has kind of taken on its own little unique culture. Um, like Temporal Sword is heavily into RP and, and making fun of Saturn with yellow glams and chocobo glams <laughs> and Eternal Sword does no pants all the time and uh, you know uh, Mortal Sword is just filled with frogs they're everywhere they're multiplying and all <laughs> kinds of stuff so yeah so each and, and you know uh, Immortal here at Immortal we actually have a great glam community and we're very wholesome uh, and so we, you know, we, we all have our own unique cultures, and we and we have a big debate between uh, do you go to the, the lower market board or the upper market board? It's a huge debate. You can type in chat which market board you prefer. <laughs> if Are you, you guys still have the lower one? I go to the upper one. I mean, it's a big debate. Like you're either on upper or lower market board. So it's, the lower one is for peasants. It's crazy. Exactly. <laughs> I didn't know there was a lower one. I know, they're, and they're about the wow. same distance. There's about the, they're about the same distance. So it's like, I don't know if you can really win the distance argument. Anyway, we could we could uh, argue that all day. But uh, first of all, um, let's all introduce ourselves. So I'll start. Uh, first, I'm Perry Pennington. I do a lot of administrative stuff around the FC that I help Saturn with kind of in the background. I farm prizes for you guys. I do activity checks that sort of uh, look at our peak uh, population compared to other 
FCs on the server uh, during peak hours. Um, I uh, created the new website, swordfc.com, um, but I'm going to have a team with me uh, to manage it soon. So it's going to be a team effort. Like uh, uh, Addy created the initial first one, uh, but she, she's been uh, inactive recently. Akula then redid the website and put a lot of effort into it. Akula Steel from uh, 3.0. And then I redid the website again. And so now this is the new website. And I'm going to put together a team, hopefully, to help me with that. I'm a Discord moderator, so if you need help with Discord, um, uh, post in the comments a suggestion channel or just DM me or if you see a bug or anything weird going on in Discord let me know um, or another Discord moderator know. I run the monthly glam contest I co-host it actually with Saturn um, and we'll talk more about that later uh, I raid on Dragoon Warrior Samurai so if you need help with those come talk to me and I sometimes stream on Twitch and run D&D games so uh, Sarah go mm-hmm I'm Saro, I'm 3.0's Legacy Officer, uh, alternate half of Kamed, and I am typically known for being a altaholic and a pyromaniac. Uh, and I do sometimes switch on uh, stw- bleh, Twitch streams as well. I probably will be doing one later tonight, hopefully getting to the top of Heaven on High. So tune in for that one if you want to see some hilarious shenanigans. Other than that, I do some video editing, and I raid and do D&D with Perry sometimes. Uh, there's no other legacy officers here tonight, is there? No, but you can oh. try to pretend to be combat if you want. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I can do. I can do Hugga. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll pretend to be combat. <laughs> hey guys, I love you all. <laughs> I am the meanest officer in the FC. And I uh, just want you all to know that you should play mini games because they're a fun way to they're a fun thing to do to, if you want some money. And I run them all. And uh, I'm the best jumper in the FC. Uh, I am also, as you may or may not know, the best tank. I am God Tank Kamed. What? Uh, I play D D sometimes with Saro. And yeah, that's about all it is for me. Go Hugga. Yo, I'm Hugger Cactus. 1.0. <laughs> I'm CEO of Maps. I run Maps a lot. Uh, Viva la Rebistance. Uh, go Frogs. Oh, no. oh my god. Joker was the best. QA. <laughs> Alright, that's enough joking around. Let's get, let's get to the 2.0 officers. Uh, I choose you, Jalen. Of course you, you can do. pass it off <laughs> to whoever you want after. Oh, after, okay. After, yeah. Hey guys, I am Jalen Onderon. I am one of your resident and local Omni crafters and Omni gatherers. I am a moderator on Discord. I am a summoner main, but I'm actually leveling a paladin right now. Oh my gosh, he's tanking. Run. <laughs> but my main shtick with Omni crafting is that I run a, a weekly event. That, where I give away at least seven leave kits for one of the crafting classes. And I just rolled. Congrats, there are four people in here that won. I will talk to you later, and I'll describe this in more detail later. I will pass it off to Rihanna. I knew that was coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> Hi, I'm Rihanna Ricky. I'm the one standing next to Jalen. Um, we're both in purple, but my purple's better. Um... <sighs> So I run I run the Sword Cafe gathering and crafting stuff. Um, I'm an Omni gatherer, but not an Omni crafter yet because I'm lazy. Um, but I'm working on it, and um, I like to get. I mean, I gather and I do low level crafting. And I like to run maps. Maps are fun. I do roulettes and all that. I do some raiding, not not with a static, but I like to do like you know the even normals. Those are fun. And all that. And oh, I also run the fashion like- kit stuff. Super quiet. You keep fading in and out. Yeah. I think, I think she's better yeah. now. Is that better? Mm-hmm. That better? I can okay. hear you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that, there we go. And I also run the fashion kit stuff. We hand them out on Fridays, Saturdays, and Mondays. Saturdays and Mondays are at the cafe. Um, usually we hand out 80s and 100s unless the 100s are <laughs> unless the 100s are impossible, which they have been for the past two weeks. It's really annoying, but you only need the 100 once to get the achievement, um, and then you can do 80s from there, and you get the same amount of MGP. It's a really easy way and quick way to get like 
sixty thousand something MGP and easy to save up for stuff like the wing, the new wings, and then there's mounts, there's glam, all that fun stuff. So you can come see me, and Appa also helps me on Fridays and then Saturdays and Mondays. So and that's pretty much all I do. Oh, and I help Jalen with gathering <laughs> stuff for the leaf kits too. <laughs> All right, pass it off to a lucky winner, Rihanna. All right, all right, Appa, you go. Um, I'm Aparicia, and I am an Omni gatherer, Omni crafter. I do, I am half of a Parko map Monday attack. Um, I also have my own event, which is a dungeon crawl, where I build a dungeon in my house, and it happens once a month. Uh, I gather for a lot of things like the cafe, like Calix housing giveaway, and uh, Jalen's leave kits if I ever remember. <laughs> <laughs> um, if I don't get called on first. Yep. Hmm. What else? Let's see. Uh, I'm hosting a PvP event on Sunday, uh, January 17th, where Perry's going to be commentating. Please sign up with me. 2.01 last year, so let's keep it going, guys. Um, okay, I'll pass it on to Solandria. Yes, I'm the only one left. <laughs> no. All right, I no. am. Hmm? No, you're not. I don't see Gory around here. Don't be. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sylvie just died. <laughs> right in front of me. <laughs> I won't forget about you, Sylvie. It's okay, <laughs> Sylvie. You're still important to me. You're <laughs> oh, oh, standing up there with dead. the important people. Let me die. Oh, no. <laughs> everyone, right. if you just believe in him, he'll come back to... Oh, everyone believed. Oh, that just segues right into the fact that I readily admit I'm not the most observant person at times. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have been with the FCA ever since it got started, and it originally got uh, uh, put together as a way to help pare down Mortal. Uh, and it took Saturn a long time to talk me into becoming an officer. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, I, I take, you know, I uh, originated and handle both the Air Aether Current Taxi Service, the Skyriders, and the uh, minigame Wandering Warrior Flight. Uh, I'm an Omni Crafter, Omni Gatherer. Uh, I main White Mage, but I also do uh, DPS roles and somewhat adequate as a tank. And I am more than happy to answer questions for people and help people get their, you know, get information that may help them enjoy their game better. Uh, I guess I'll just leave it at that and let Sylvie take care of whatever he wants to talk about. Hi, my name is Sylvie. I run the FC Rim Decorating Contest, which is a quarterly event that we'll talk about later. I also run maps on Tuesdays, now as a solo host instead of a duo host. I provide the FC with crystal shards and clusters. I buy prizes whenever they're necessary, and also I work at the cafe as a, as a what's it called? Oh my god, I blanked! A server! server. <laughs> server. <laughs> so you can catch me there too on Saturdays and Mondays. Other than that, I'll pass it on to Warden, Darko, and Guario, who unfortunately say hi, but they can't make it tonight. Yay, thank you, Sylvie. Well, you can't really pass it on to them. No. Yeah, I will. I will, I will take it away then, uh, for in, in their stead here. So okay, so I hope you guys have been enjoying um, some of our big events that we've had uh, lately. We just had this uh, the masquerade ball in January at our new event venue uh, with the Bard Band, uh, Brea's Bard Band, and it's all been really awesome. We plan to continue using that event venue for. Uh, big things like that. Uh, the date auction is coming up in February, so be on, on the lookout for that around Valentine's Day or something like that. Um, we will be reviving the Glam Contest near the end of the month, but the theme has not been announced yet. Um, the Glam Contest, for those of you that uh, don't know yet or are new, uh, the Immortal Sword, by the way, your FC, RFC, has been like 
amazing at glamp contests. Like we are, we are really, really good. We typically uh, have a great showing from RFC at those. So please come out and represent RFC when we compete against all the other ones. Um, but basically, we choose a theme. Uh, previous ones have been things like Disney duos, high school stereotypes, uh, things of that nature. And the high school stereotypes, for example, we we had people dress up as nerds, jocks, um, goth kids other random stereotypes and it was just a great deal of fun so uh, we pick a theme we have several different categories uh, that you can win in uh, such as cutest sexiest funniest uh, best in show FC leaders pick uh, and things like that so most creative is another one so yeah so basically you come out, you strut your stuff on stage with your glam that you feel like fits the theme. Uh, a lot of folks do a little RP skit with it, uh, but that's by no means necessary. Um, and then once everyone is done presenting themselves, the judges go and deliberate for a few minutes. Uh, sometimes we have to create more categories because we feel bad and we want to give people more prizes because there's so many good entries usually. So then uh, we come back and uh, you all win prizes. And a lot of them are very, very nice prizes, including lots of mug station items, codes, uh, and expensive in-game glams. Uh, we actually just had some donations of calf leather items will be up for grabs as one of them. Uh, there was most assuredly going to be a mount of some sort from the Mog Station available. So yeah, definitely come. It'll be really worth your time, and it's super fun. It's super easy to put together a cool glam. Um, uh, also, as Operation mentioned in her intro, she's putting together a PvP tournament uh, bracket style on January 17th. Uh, the announcement has been made, uh, so just scroll up in announcements to see it. I believe she tagged at PvP with it. Um, so if you don't have that role, just be aware that that's a tag that was used. And um, so, yeah, so that's going to be a, a tournament style thing, and we have... A, the grand prize is going to be a mount of your choice. So whatever mount you choose on the Mog Station uh, will be yours. Uh, and the other prizes are going to be really, really good as well. And you, there's also participation prizes just for coming out and participating. So, so yeah, come out, have fun in the 1v1 tournament. I'm going to be shot calling it or doing an announcement voice as best I can. And it's going to be streamed, and it's going to be a whole lot of fun. The last one, I didn't expect to have as much fun as I did, and I had a ton of fun. So I'm, I'm excited for this one, so... Come on out for that. Um, okay. Uh, Sword Cafe is has been a huge hit. Uh, you can it's kind of become kind of one of the staples. I feel like of the FC lately. Uh, we operate uh, Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Central and Monday nights at 8 p.m. Central. So uh, come on out. Uh, to Sword Cafe. You can get free high quality uh, crafting, raid, or gathering food, or leveling food. And um, it's more of a social mixer event, so we do ask that you come out personally and just, you know, hang out. Uh, we're not going to do like an Uber Eats thing where we deliver the food to you. Because <laughs> the point is to come out, meet people in the FC, mingle, talk. We have bards playing music. Uh, we got all kinds of people giving stuff out. Rihanna's giving fashion kits. Jebediah's giving out minions. We had someone donate a million gil and we gave that out. Uh, it's kind of like a farmer's market almost as well as a cafe. Yeah, and yeah, we give out chocobo fruit. We give, I mean, There's all kinds of tabnary and onions. There's, there's just everything is there. So just come out there meet your fellow FC mates and, and get some free high quality food. Uh, we give top of the line raid food. So it's the new smoked chicken, fettuccine and papoto salad, as well as grade four tinctures, uh, which Rihanna so graciously organizes and uh, crafters from the FC donate their time to craft it for us. So uh, come on out and get your free stuff. So, all right, I'm going to go into reminders and then an explanation on Discord, and then we're going to get into the individual officer events, and I'll have the officers talk about those. So some reminders for those new to the FC or that forgot. Uh, we offer crystal shards and clusters for any crafters uh, who are leveling their crafting classes. So if you run into the wall where you're kind of out of crystals, we have a bunch stocked up in the FC chest, um, and we'd be happy to give you uh, some uh to continue leveling your crafters. So just let us let an officer in the FC know and we'll be happy to get that for you. Um, we uh, offer fruit to dye your chocobos. So if you didn't know, your chocobo starts out uh, 
there's a low level quest is a level 30 or something 20 25 something like that anyway there's a low level quest where you get a chocobo and uh, it comes desert yellow and so if you don't like desert yellow uh, you can actually feed it force feed it a bunch of fruit and that will change its color and you can use an online calculator just google chocobo dying Final Fantasy 14 and um, you can sort of input the color that you want and it will tell you which fruit are required to feed your chocobo to get it to be that color and they can be prohibitively expensive especially if you're a new player um, so we grow them actually in the FC for free and offer them to you for free so um, just message an officer with which fruit you want uh, for your chocobo and put it in the stable and then force feed that bird and then wait like six hours <laughs> and hopefully you get the color you want now it might be off by a little bit and you might have to recalculate sometimes feed it like one or two extra fruit to to get it to be the right color but uh, yeah we'll we'll hook you up with that um, uh, we uh, we offer to uh, we do run a room decorating contest quarterly that Sylvie runs, which I'll have him talk about later. But uh, in case you can't afford an FC apartment, they're 300k, and that doesn't they're 300k gill. That doesn't go to RFC uh, when you buy a room in it. Um, but it's just a it's just a price that Square Enix sets to get an apartment, basically apartment room in the FC house, and. Um, we have a room decorating contest quarterly that people will there's a theme that's set and you can decorate it but if you can't afford the 300k we can cover that for you though we do ask that if you can't afford it that you please do and finally we have a rotating buff schedule um every day as you can see pretty much every every single day we have the heat of the battle which gives you 10 percent extra experience um, and today we have like the helping hand which is an exp earned through crafting buff you can find that schedule on the bulletin board under the immortal sword in discord it's pinned in the bulletin board okay so about discord so if you are new and you ha are just getting into our discord you may be a little overwhelmed because we have a whole lot of channels and is a huge discord and part of the major ways uh, one of the major ways that we organize our discord discord is with roles um, so if you scroll to the top of discord you'll see a role events and assignments channel and in that channel you can sort of subscribe to whatever types of uh, events that you're interested in we have housing notifications services fates mini games raid pvp role playing maps mount farming uh, and blue mage and so on so you can basically click on an, the associated emoji with those things and anytime someone tags that role in discord you will be alerted so for example you'll be alerted for any mount farms that people are running and things like that uh, the reason we do that is because we used to do at everyone's for everything and as we screw as an FC that got really annoying to a lot of people because we were pinging like a thousand people every single time for every event that we run and it just got to be too much and if we did that now it would be crazy because we have so many events going on literally all the time so that's why we did that um, so yeah please subscribe to anything that you'd like uh, to be alerted on we have a comments and suggestions channel if you do have any comments or suggestions for discord if you're not comfortable putting your suggestion in there please dm a moderator officer um, which you can find in the sidebar of discord directly and we'd be happy to uh, discreetly talk to you about it um, and we also you might not know we have several request only channels that are hidden that you have to request from an officer to be added to uh, one of them is the not safe for work channel um, if you need to ask what that is don't be added to it <laughs> we have a not safe for snowflake channel which is a shit posting and meme channel uh, not for the faint of heart uh, but you can request to be added to that too we have a powder puffs channel which is a uh, IRL girl uh, women only channel so if you want to be added to that please message an officer we have a sword pride channel um, which is for uh, members and allies of the LGBTQIA plus uh, community. So if you are an ally, please join that. You get support there. Uh, we have the Mad World channel, which is sort of a mental health awareness uh, channel where you, people can 
vent uh, about things and, and get support from others. Uh, Las Espadas is a channel. This is Spanish-speaking community of S.W.O.R.D. If you want to be added to that, talk to uh, uh, Guario Nex, and he can uh, hook you up by adding you to that. Um, and we have, finally, the Housing Notifications channel. If you are trying really hard to buy a house, we post uh, Calic, one of the officers in the Fallen Sword, uh, posts any uh, open houses, and she regularly does sweeps to see what open houses are available and posts them there so that you can uh, stake it out and try to get that house for yourself. Whew, that's a lot. So someone else do some talking. Uh, let's talk about some individual officer events. Let's see, let's see. Uh, Cell, do you want to talk about your uh, mini games? Sure. Uh, Guario is online, by the way. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, I'll have Guario talk about the magazine after Cell. And uh, stuff. all right. So um, first thing would be my mini game, which is Wandering Warrior of Light. Uh, it's essentially a hide and seek game with an RP flare. Uh, not only you're the uh, Concept is I you you are in the role of an art, an adventurer who ra happen to discover the journals left behind by the warrior flight, and you thought it was a great idea to literally follow in their footsteps. Uh, so there's a certain amount of lore based uh, you know items in the story and the locations as well as. Uh, other areas that I just happened to wander into. Uh, the, the journal entry is actually from the adventure themselves, not the Warrior of Light, but there are references to the, rep the Warrior of Light's journals. The, uh, what you're looking for is not only the location that they are at, but also uh, certain primary and secondary key elements that you want in the shot in order to be able to qualify for the prizes. Uh, speaking of which, this... Uh, there was a new one that I posted this morning, which nobody has managed to find the location for, and I may have to provide a couple of hints if it goes too long before they figure it out. <laughs> mm. And as I said uh, earlier, the, I also have my taxi service, which we uh, just want to help everybody get their wings. Yes, so yeah, if you... If you hate Aether Currents as much as I did, I wish the <laughs> taxi service was a thing <laughs> back when I was getting all Try mine. Try getting it on 35 different alts. Oh, God. Oh That's God. I've, got a, I've got, right. actually got a system now. But yeah, please take take advantage of, of cells and all the volunteer services that do the, the taxi commissions. Uh, I believe you just tag at taxi commissions, uh, and, and they'll be happy to to ferry you about and get your your currents um okay so guario uh is unable to talk right now um not that he can't talk but he is uh, mm -hmm. uh partying it up and uh <laughs> it's loud so <laughs> so uh i'm gonna talk about some uh, one of the new initiatives that he's been putting together that's been really awesome so he's been working together with several other folks uh, it's been a huge collaborative effort, but Guario kind of heads it up. It's the Sword Magazine, and we've had uh, three issues of it so far. It's a monthly magazine that we run. Um, if you want to check it out, go to swordfc.com slash sword-magazine, um, or just go to swordfc.com and just navigate to it on the buttons. But uh, it's really, really amazing. Please look through the latest issues. Awesome. And uh, yeah, we have... Uh, there's a whole section in there about uh, there's officer bios, there's uh, Apollo, uh, officer from Temporal Sword, wrote a big thing about role playing communities in Sword. Uh, we have a article uh, from Begone Thought from uh, the Eternal Sword, uh, where people submit questions to him and he responds in uh, uh, in a very Begone Thought fashion. Uh, so. If you haven't talked to him yet, it's a treat. Do it. Yeah, it's it's basically like it, it's basically like uh, you know, forget adv getting advice from Google. Uh, just just post your question to him, and I'm sure he will uh, he'll, he'll give you good advice on whatever you have to whatever relationship or any other advice that you you would like. Uh, so yeah, submit those to Guario, and he'll be happy to get those into Sword Magazine. Um, 
Okay, let's see who else. Appa, do you want to talk about your map party? Uh, or the PvP sure. thing, if you want to elaborate more, but I kind of already talked about it, but the map Sure. Settings. Okay, so I run, I am half of a um, map party on Monday. It's called a Parko M Monday map attack, and Darko's the other half, but he's not here. And uh, it's the only map party, we do 80s map parties, and it's the only map party where we give stats at the end, like how many portals, what uh, drops, how much money, blah blah blah, that kind of thing. Uh, also, my dungeon crawl is like a Final Fantasy and D&D &D cross, where it's not as complicated as D&D, &D, but it's uh, where you roll dice and stuff to attack, and I build a dungeon, so it's immersive, it's in my house, in the basement. Um, this time we're doing something kind of new, where I'm getting actually um, voice actors, and if you want to come listen in, and request to join the Dungeon Crawl channel and um, you'll be able to listen in this time. Um, the actual event is January January 21st, Thursday night at 9 CST. So please come listen in if you want to. Also, I want to talk about the Powder Puff channel. We have a Monday Powder Puff map or Sunday Sunday maps. And uh, yes, it's on Sunday. And also, um, they do we do events and stuff. I think the next event is on January fourteenth, and I think it's a card against humanity in it. So, yeah, please request to join the Powder Powder Pup channel for that. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, Sapa. Um, thank you for talking about the Powder Pup thing too. Um, Rihanna, do you want to briefly explain? Um, how the fashion kits work and like what they are for people so they can get them sure all right so <clears throat> if you've unlocked the golden saucer it's actually pretty easy i think it's like a level 16 blue quest basically the golden saucer it's a place where you go to gamble games do mini games it's just something extra in the game um you could play like triple triad mahjong do and do other stuff uh and one of the easy and so the currency they have is MGP, and basically they sell a lot of different stuff. It's you know minions, mounts, uh, glam items, and one of the easiest ways to get MGP every week is to do the fashion kit. Um, it's where you know you go to Mask Rose. He's a Rogan in with a mask on. It's pretty hard to miss him. <laughs> um, yeah, basically every week he gives a few hints, and you have to figure out uh, what he's looking for in terms of clothing items and all that but luckily so the fc we provide that for you so you don't have to you know guess and we can take the guesswork out for you um i help run that Kamed does the theory crafting um basically we help he helps figure out you know which item and then usually it's some dies for the 80s and then the 100s are usually almost a full set of stuff um it, you only need the 100s once for an achievement and a title um, and it gives the same amount of MGP as the 80s do. Um, and then after you get the achievement, you just need the 80s. And they're usually pretty straightforward. Um, some weeks are a little tricky, but they're usually fairly low-level um, things. for So Sprouts can usually do them. Um, something as simple as like a shirt, and then you dye your hands and your legs a certain color and that sort of thing. So we'll provide you with the item and the dyes or more than that if need be. Like, for example, this week, it's a bronze chain coif, um, which is a headpiece. And then we have three dyes. It was two black dyes and then a brown dye. And, um, and we tell you what to dye and all that good stuff. And then you should get that MGP, and it resets every week. Um, it goes from Friday to Monday and then resets um, for those few days. And they get the hints, and then, you, then everybody figures out the dyes on Fridays. So... And on Fridays, we also have the MGP buff. So if you come visit us at the saucer when we're giving them out, you will get even more MGP than normal than you would. So, Yay. Thank you, Rihanna. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Sylvie, do you want to talk about uh, the room decorating contest and maybe the rainbow run stuff? Mm -hmm. So... Um... 
more about the FC Room Decorating Contest. It is a quarterly event. Um, as Perry said earlier, I come up with a category. Sometimes I'll have a story to go with it. And basically, you decorate your rooms on how you think it would fit into the category. At the end of the month, a bunch of judges will go around and score the rooms. And winners can win anywhere from 4 million gil to... Um, Mog station credit to in-game fashion and mounts that are rare to get, and so much more. Um, if anyone would like to know partially how we judge, um, I did give a little bit of information about that in the last Sword magazine that can be found at swordfc.com. Uh, so if you want to see somewhat of how we judge you, you can go ahead and check out the article. It's near the back pages. Um... But for the other thing, um, going back to the Discord info, the LGBT community does have uh, something called the Rainbow Runs. We run them on Mondays, uh, but the information is posted on Sundays. Uh, people who want to participate will just have to go in and select what type of activity you guys want to do. It ranges from anywhere from mount farming to maps to MSQ, and it changes every once in a while. And then Monday, uh, the category that won, everyone will gather together and just have a lot of fun for a couple hours uh, farming. Yay. I don't... Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I, I can't actually say who runs them at the moment because I know they're changing hands. I don't know if they have yet or not. I think it's going to be Jahadin. Zulfi? That's right, Jahadin from 1.0 will be yeah. running them for now on, so I would message them if you would like some more information. Yes, thank you, Sylvie. And let's see, uh, last but definitely not least, 2.0 is Officer Jalen. Can you, can you tell the people all about what you do with the leave kits? Because they love it. Oh, yes, most definitely. So, who here likes free stuff? I love free stuff. Love no it. one raised their hand, wow. I do. I know, right? Who hates leveling crafters? Oh man, it's the worst. <laughs> I actually kind of enjoy it, actually. Get out. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Get out. <laughs> well, I combine both of those into what is called leave kits. Uh, leave kits, you basically get a bunch of items that uh, that my group and I gather and craft, and then we just give it to you, and you power level all the way up to 80. Now, every week I do um, give seven kits away, so it is limited, and I, I roll on Sunday nights. <laughs> yes, free. <laughs> um, wow, I just jumbled that all over the place. But anyway, I, I announce on Wednesday, see how many people come on in. I will reinforce the announcements on Friday and Saturday. Next next one up is going to be Culinarian Kits. That's going to be in a week. Uh, I'm going to be, I rolled earlier today for Alchemy Kits and four of you in here won. Congrats. I will message you all afterwards. Um, and... Honestly, if we get 25 people, we had 23 this week. If we get 25 people signed up on Wednesday, as long as I remember to do it in, in the morning, I w will bump that up to the maximum that I plan on ever doing is 10 kits instead of just 7. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. And, yeah. On a side note, I also, at, at the... Saturday Cafe. I also uh, craft on demand. So if anyone needs anything, just come on there. Or whenever. Doesn't matter. But yeah, at the event, I'd love to have some more work. So, cool. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Jay. Not a problem. Okay, I just want to plug real quick before I uh, get to some of the other officers real quick, because I do want to get to some of you all uh, really soon. Uh, but Guario wanted me to really quick plug Noche de Espadas, which I assume is uh, nighttime uh, Las Espadas uh, things. They're going to be doing 70 maps. Virillo Wildwood is running it. Um, and they're also going to be starting some uh, learning party stuff uh, soon as well. So if you want to get involved with Las Espadas, reach out to Guario. 
Um, I do real quick want to hit the rating stuff flame if you're here and want to talk about your uh, learning parties. That would be sure. great, eh? Uh, yeah. Um, hi, I'm Flame Zero from 5.0, uh, the Fallen Sword. Um, I host learn uh, raid tier learning parties on Saturdays at 2 p.m. Central Time. Um, there's a couple other people in the FC that run them as well on Friday and Monday. Um, basically, what they are is they're um, the uh, end end game content. Uh, you hop in them, you learn some mechanics, you learn some fights. Uh, you uh, have a good time. Uh, everyone that runs them is very um, chill. Uh, generally, you're going to have a good time. Um, and uh, all we ask from you is to have the uh, your minimum item level, which is 500 gear, um, and have... Uh, the 5.3 uh, quest line done from Shadowbringers uh, and the previous fights or all the normal is done uh, otherwise you don't have it unlocked um, yeah they're a good time uh, watch for the posts uh, they'll be out during the week um, that's all for me really yeah and these, these learning party raid learning parties that Flame and, and other folks around there can be a great great way to like dip your toe into raiding in like a judgment free zone because you know party finders are scary and people are really mean sometimes so you know if you do it in FC with 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 those guys that are awesome super knowledgeable and they they can teach you the fight uh, let's see let's see uh, Dectris do you want to talk about the wonderful gilded scabbard if you're here. You don't have to if you're here. Sure, I can talk about it. Yay. Hi, I'm uh, Dexter Zager. I'm from Temporals 4.0. I run an event called the Gilded Scabbard, where I run around with others doing gates for MGP. So come leap for joy and leap of faith and make the cut and the slices right. Gates run every 20 minutes, and between running them, we race chocobos. If you've never raced chocobos before, it's super easy and lots of fun. We hang out in the Gilded Scabbard voice chat and just chill and talk while running the event. We take a quick break in the middle to get the fashion report for that sweet 66k MGP. That's right, on Fridays you get those free fashion kits and get an extra 6k from the FC jackpot buff. My event is every Friday at 10 to 12 Central uh, Eastern. Eastern, I've moved recently. Uh, join late, leave early, stay for two hours, or bail after two minutes. Ping me in-game on Discord, hit me in voice chat. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's make that MGP rain and get those mounts, minions, and glams. Also, in addition to the usual Gilded Scabbard stuff, my co-host Lily the Pink Fox is teaching people about getting the most out of your racing chocobos, and will soon be hosting a chocobo racing tournament. So keep your eyes peeled and your chocobos preened. It'll be coming to a golden saucer near you. You guys are awesome, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> uh, let's see who else is here. Robin, do you want to plug your RP event? If, if you want to. Oh, right, sorry, I, I was playing a slow toy, sorry. Oh, you're good. <laughs> um, okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Hey, hi, I'm Robin Grayman. I'm an officer in 4.0, and I run um, two events. I run the uh, Thanks for the Memory memory Farm, which is where we go to Heaven's Ward areas and collect these memories of the dying. There are three types of memories, uh, the Tortured, the Howling and the Sorrowful Memories. You need 20 of each of these to upgrade your level 80 Relic Weapon to um, the second stage. And after that, to get the final stage of your weapon, the Glowy uh, Weapon, you need six better memories, which you get from level 60 dungeons. And also, you can get one a day from your leveling roulette. My event is to help take care of the hard part, which is gathering the 320 sets of memories. So, yeah. and that is on, um, that's every other Friday from 9 p.m. EST to 11 p.m. So, come on out and let's make some memories, you know? Also, I also run um, a new RP event, which I hosted today. Unfortunately, it wasn't that many people today. So, all you have detention, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But anyways, um, it is my RP event, Robin's Talency Teachings. It is a school RP event which I host where 
everybody feel f everybody comes in you know we act as students as teachers you know we go on like little adventures you know lessons and you know teaching and all that you know just a little fun like wacky school adventure thing so yeah and one more thing i do run um an event with ali on mondays we run um fates but we took a break from that we're doing maps currently on mondays every monday from uh 10 p.m est to 12 to midnight so feel free to join that and uh yeah that's all for me back to Swotor. <laughs> thank you robin um let's see let's see oh uh, okay uh miss sean if you're around do you want to tell everyone about breakfast club well, hello, Immortal. Yes, I would. I am Michonne Rathclaw from 4.0, uh, and we run breakfast clubs uh, on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. It, we also run on Sunday, and today was probably one of our better ones. We had 12 folks show up today. We uh, run starting at 11 a.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Central. We do this for two hours. It's a lot of fun. Uh, of course, we uh, have three choices. We have 80s fates, roulettes, or normal raids, and uh, 80s maps. And, of course, the maps seem to be the most popular. People buy houses and need the money. So uh, we're there for you. Uh, we have all types of runs. Sometimes our runs are excellent. We get a lot of portals and we have a lot of opportunities for money. And other times, well, we're just glad to be there. We don't get as many portals, but we sure have a good time. That That's the bottom line is we like to have a good time. It's a great way to uh, get to know one another, uh, especially those of you that, uh, that are uh, up and at them in the morning. We're there. Again, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and on Sundays, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. Thank you, Perry. Thank you, Michonne. And uh, as, as uh, Send Nudes uh, said in chat there, uh, Luminous Sevens is going to be running a the counterpart to Michonne's Breakfast Club, and they're calling it Midnight Munchies. So it's going to be a similar type of thing where... They're going to be running maps for the uh, late night crew or uh, Pacific uh, uh, Pacific time, along with Masala and Mamura. Yeah, there's a lot of M's there. Yeah, <laughs> the the M M and M extravaganza. So yeah, timing wise, it's like nine to twelve Pacific. Nine to twelve Pacific. Yeah, so it's really late. So for Eastern folks, so nine to twelve Pacific. Um, yeah, midnight munchies. We'll have a lot of fun. Athena's new event. It's the Glam Hunt event, right? Does anyone know uh, details about that? Someone asked me to plug it. Yeah, I mean, I know details. Uh, uh, basically, if 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 you want, if you need Glam, like she'll get a group together and just run run right. around the dungeon and all that. Right. Yeah. There's there there's some dungeons that have really great glam in them, like Swallow's Compass, that may be really difficult to run by yourself. So Ath uh, Athena, uh, Mistborn is going to be doing, uh, putting together groups to try to run those uh, for people. So yeah, definitely be on the lookout too if you are a glam fiend. Let's see. Probably have time for one more plug here, Saro, since Kemet isn't here. You want me to do mini games? Oh, yeah. it's. <laughs> Uh, Athena's thing is on at 9 p.m. Eastern on this Wednesday. Okay, 9 p.m. Eastern on Wednesday. Okay, now, sir, you go. All right, well, let's see. Well, we've already heard about the Wandering Warrior of Light, so that was already quite adequately, adequately explained. Uh, let's see. Who's that NPC? That one hasn't been explained yet, right? Mm. I hear no confirmation, so I'm going to assume yes. Uh, so, who's that NPC? Uh, the... Who's running that one right now? Shars. Shars. Oh, he's running both. Yeah, so Shars will pick an NPC out somewhere in the world, take a picture of it, and post it. You have to go find that NPC, take a picture standing next to them, and post your picture with a number in the channel there. And at the end of the week, Shars will roll to see who's the closest to the num who picked the number closest to the one he rolls, and they get a prize. It's pretty... I think typically they're all in A Realm Reborn, so they're things that pretty much anyone can find throughout the game. 
Actually, the crew uh, is a riddle, similar to Wandering Warrior of Light. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you can tell I play this one a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so Shars, do we have Mel here? We don't have Mel here, do we? No. Nope. You're gonna have to do Mel's. Thing. I I can't do Mel's thing. I I blush sure, like a, I blush out. like a. Oh, you're okay. <laughs> Nobody can see you blush. All right. <laughs> I if you want. No, okay. I got it. Uh, actually, you know what? No, go for it. Do it. <laughs> now I'm laughing. Mel likes to do deep, deep dungeons, and she likes to do it very, very deep. She says deep a lot. That is why we always giggle. <laughs> so she runs Very the deep, deep dungeon event. So we'll be on the lookout for that and announcements. Something about a, 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 a female NPC inspecting people's sex. Yes, that too. <laughs> yes, got it. Inspect the sex. All right. Uh, I was more looking for the fishing extravaganza because the <laughs> deep dungeons are something different. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you, you have the head head head. Go <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You have to master your bait or you something to, and grip yeah, your you rod. Yeah, <laughs> you have to grasp your rod tight. Firmly. You know what? Matter. I'm trying. <laughs> I feel attacked right now. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're not doing this justice, are we? Help. We're off the rails. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so yes, he Crazy gives train. you a target fish, either the biggest or the smallest of the species, and if you roll on, if you manage to catch it, you also have a chance for winning with the roll as well. So it's either biggest or smallest fish. Then he rolls for another winner, so you have two chances to win there. Uh, then we move on to glam contest, which hasn't. Uh, we just had one, didn't we? That one. When was the last time we had that run? Yeah, I think Silvax runs it now. We just uh, had one. Last month. I think he was... Uh, I thought he was handing it off in order to take over a lotto. Oh, okay. he might be. Oh, we're not sure about that. Yeah, that's TBD. Anyways, screenshot glam contest. They'll... Basically, when that happens, they'll take a give you a theme, and you have to take a picture in the uh, spirit of the theme, and then they get judged, and the winners get prizes. Uh... That that one's a new one. I don't remember seeing that one of the artist one. Uh, that's the sword artist online one. It's basically an art contest. They pick a theme, and we have all the amazing artists uh, submit entries uh, that fit that theme. But you can do like poems. You can do short stories. Uh, Paulo, I think, won last time with a really cool uh, short story. Uh, so all mediums, eh? Yeah. And okay. uh, salty, salty is taking that one over. So. Salty all, right. all spice. Well, let's move on to the ones I actually know about. Time <laughs> attack. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> the ones I'm actually able to participate in because they're the only things I'm good at. <laughs> no. you, ever, you ever won? I have to leave something else for everyone else to win. Jeez. <laughs> sure. Uh, right, he, so time attack. Really time attack. We will pick a dungeon or a trial and you solo it, unsynced, and if you can get the highest time, or the well, I guess the fastest time, you win. Uh, you also, if you can complete it within the par time, the set time, you can also put a number in to roll for it. And so two ways to win there. The hide and seek with Kamed. Kamed will, this is the one where he takes a picture uh, with, of somewhere out in the world and you have to go find it. And sometimes it's kind of hard to figure out without many context clues, so... Yeah, fun where the, but it's always in a realm reborn as well, so you can get there even if you're level aren't like through the level fifty stuff. So that one's a fun one to do. Uh, there is the parkour challenge. Kamed's house is quite literally set up to be a horrible parkour torture uh, routine thing. There that you have to if you can get through it, get to the very end, no matter how you do it, just bouncing on all the stuff he's set up. You can also roll a number, and if he rolls a number at the end of the week, you win a prize. And I think that's all of them. Thank you, Saro. Okay, so we have a whole... Actually, like, you think we went over, like, tons of events and stuff during this meeting, but I'm telling you that's, like, not even, like, half of the stuff that goes on in this FC. If you want a more um, uh, complete list of all the events that go on, uh, pay attention to the announcements channel in Discord, first of all. And second of all, check out the calendar uh, at swordfc.com slash calendar and uh, just... 
look at all the things that are happening every single day. So yeah, there's tons of stuff going on. We don't have time in just this meeting to go over them all because I still want to promote people and give out prizes. So, okay. So uh, let's get on to promotions. We have two promotions to Honor Guard tonight. Um, so uh, this first person uh, is named after a Hamilton character, uh, which you know several of us officers really love Hamilton. We actually did a, a watch a stream chat where all the officers watched it. Uh, I think it was impromptu that one, but we've, we've done a few of those now. Um, but they are very active and helpful to everyone and talk a lot in FC chat um, and they're also active in the novice network a lot, uh, which sets kind of a good name for Sword as a whole. Uh, we'd like to promote Peggy Schuyler to Honor Guard. And Jay, if you could help me out in the game. You got it. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations, Yay. Peggy Woo. Schuyler. And Peggy. <laughs> That's from Harold. Anyway, okay. Uh, the second person we would like to promote has been in the FC since uh, March and has been joining all sorts of events, uh, including map parties, raid learning parties, and has a presence uh, in chat. Uh, they're not the talk most talkative in chat, but they've just been around and um, really participating in all kinds of things, and they've been in for a while, so we would like to promote Light Stark to Honor Guard as well. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yay! Uh, there, uh, and, and I know we only did two promotions tonight, but uh, we are keeping an eye on several others. Some of you uh, are just a little shy of the three-month mark, uh, So, but next next month, uh, look out for more promotions. Uh, so You might say we're making a list and checking it twice, except for it's a month after Christmas. Yes. <laughs> we're not funny. <laughs> I try to be, and it counts for something. I think you're funny, Sarah. <laughs> hey, 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 can you check, can you check my message real quick. Yeah. Um... Uh, but yeah. All right. Okay. So now that we're done with uh, the promotions, I can uh, redirect everyone to the, everyone's favorite part of the meeting. And that is the giveaway part. So if you scroll all the way to the top, if you're listening to the meeting and you're a member of Immortal Sword, and you scroll all the way to the top of Discord underneath the giveaways channel, um, I have posted in there, uh, it's under the welcome to sword category, by the way, at the top of Discord, you'll see a hashtag giveaways channel. You see that I have posted a screenshot of tab one of our FC chest. Uh, it's important to note that in this giveaway, all the items in that chest are available for the giveaway. That includes any mounts, uh, minions, bardings, or glams. Uh, the, uh, the horn that you see there next to all the flying chairs, those are three zoo horns, uh, which is like a big bird mount. So those are up for grabs as well, so if you don't have that mount as well. Uh, however, most importantly, the bottom row... Uh, you'll see is a row of flowers of different colors. Those represent prizes that we can't physically place into the chest, things like Mog Station codes and Gill prizes. Um, for example, the red flowers represent the Spriggan mount, which is a cute little black fluff ball with big ears that carries you in a basket, and it's really cute, and it's Saturn's favorite mount. So that's the grand prize, that's the red flowers. Yellow flowers is the Play Dead emote, very popular emote. Blue flowers is the dote emote, which is kind of an upgraded blow kiss emote. Uh, green flowers is a million gill, and violet flowers is 500k gill. Um, you'll also see in the chest, uh, there's a South Sea skirt and uh, chest piece, um, and flying chairs and bardings and all that stuff. It's all up for grabs. So to be eligible for entry, click the tada emoji or the streamer emoji underneath the giveaway bot, and make sure to only click it once. Um, because if you click it twice, it'll unselect it, uh, and you won't be eligible. And it's going to roll in about oh, 12 minutes or so. And uh, once it rolls, uh, several winners will be selected. And if you are selected as a winner, um, you will be pinged in Discord in this giveaways channel uh, by the giveaway bot. Um, if you are pinged and you're selected as a winner, 
uh, message in game in Final Fantasy XIV and Immortal Sword Officer. So an officer in your FC in the Immortal Sword. Uh, whisper them with your top two choices. Uh, I recommend your top two choices because um, it'll it'll give you a better chance of getting a prize that you actually want uh, because it is a free for all. So whichever officer is able to grab, yank your prize out of the FC chest first. Uh, will get you that prize. So be quick, and may the odds be ever in your favor. And wow, I ended. I ended pretty much, pretty much right on time. Because... Pretty damn good, actually. Right on time, Perry. Wow. Yeah. You're giving yourself wow, a positive minute, one minute, minute Perry Payton. I gave. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. What do I do with all this time? Okay. But yep, that's it for us. Does anyone have any last minute? Any, anything with the last minute? Uh. Gonna say Have you joke? all heard? You can say another yeah. joke. Go for it. I, no, no, I said I, I asked her. You gonna say another joke? I mean, I was just gonna mention the fabulous legend of the uh, palm hand cat leg. And on that note, goodbye, everyone. Have, have a great that. evening. Thanks for coming out. Bye. We love you. <laughs> See you later, stream. <laughs>